Radio for all. You are now live with the Humble Prince of Sahara FM Radio. Yeah. And we're back live with the Humble Prince of Sahara FM Radio. I'd like to thank everybody for joining us. And uh, again, I'd just like to say that tonight's show was brought to you by Tribex Vomos Communication. Please go to their website, www.tribex.vomos.com for more information. And also, we're brought to you tonight by the Nollywood Diaspora Film Series. Uh, that lady, um, Lola Day, is actually going to be joining us as a guest. And they're one of our sponsors. And uh, we're going to be giving you guys more information about that. So right now, we're joined by... Uh, uh, Two of uh, who I like to call them um, Sahara TV uh, All Stars, and uh, I think they're on their way on their phones and their laptops, but uh, looking for information. But this is the critically acclaimed callback segment, and uh, today's Independence Day, so I thought we'd do you know something very special. So we brought two um, two high power people, man. Uh, first of all, we have um, Mr. Uda Fukunqua, uh Dr. Damages himself. Oh, you clap for yourself. How humble, man. Thank you so much for joining us. And, uh, of course, we have the lovely, beautiful, uh, I love that hair, man. I'm feeling it. Sorry, I had to talk about it. Uh, I deal I find you of, um, Dr. I mean, said Dr. Damages, of keeping it real. <laughs> Guys, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, Independence Day. Nigeria turns uh, 54 today. We're going to be talking about that. We'll also be talking about the 2015 elections coming up in February. That's just around the corner. And uh, <laughs> unbelievable. Um, Something I think that's good news, um, wheelchair access um, ATMs in Nigeria, even though it's just one, uh, but it's a good start. Um, and we have uh, a divorce among Nigerian celebrities and Nigerian celebrities getting into politics. Now we'll get to that if we can, but Nigeria 54, uh, today's our Independence Day. Uh, Doctor, uh, start with you, Dr. Damages. Uh, what are your thoughts? Uh-oh. Uh no, no, it's, it's <laughs> a good thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a great thing, man. Yeah, I I, this morning, I wanted to write an article. Uh, okay. The title was uh, 54 Great Testings About Nigeria. That's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, I couldn't go beyond five <laughs> because each time I think of something, I, I would think about bots, you know, and you know what they say, anything before bots is all bullshit, you know. So, <laughs> oh, uh, so I, I stopped. Oh, sorry. I didn't know I can say that. Oh, yeah, sorry, man. I thought it's my show. Okay. All right. No. So I, I stopped. <laughs> I stopped thinking about it. But what I did again that was surprising to me, I went to something I wrote about 10 years ago, Nigeria at 44. And nothing has changed, so I felt like you know. Uh, if anybody no, wanted, damages. there's I, been some improvements, man. We, I could list. I'm going to list that. Actually, I wanted to do that too. I just didn't have time, but I'm going to list 54 things I love about Nigeria. Oh, very good. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll hear. I'll Let hear him them. Say 10. Right ten. now. No, just one. I'll tell you. You want me to say 10 right now? Yeah. Okay. I'm not saying that there are no like 54 things that are great, right. but I just would like to hear some of them. Just one. First of all, we have very beautiful women. I'll start, I like to start with that. Uh, I love are, the women. They are beautiful women everywhere. No, I love Nigerian women. I they mean, just, good, the, just you know, they're elegant. Number two. They could cook <laughs> and everything. You see, she moved on to number two. Yeah. <laughs> um, number two, I love, just love Nigerian people, just um, our culture. Number know? three. Number three. Um, <laughs> you know, when, I you have say, to when think you this say over. Uh, when you say our they're culture, I was thinking about the women in the north who got married at at uh, that ten, you know, well, I guys, I, I hope I don't want to. I can actually mention something. I can mention ten. Now yeah. we have trains. I mean, they're, trains? they're building the trains. They just uh, commissioned some trains in Lagos. Yes, that's now, a beautiful thing. Almost all Nigerians have cell uh, cell phones now. That was not technology. the case. People in Somalia, they all have cell phones. So next. Yeah, but it's a good thing. It's an improvement. No, so though. I'm just saying that it's not a way. It's that is the problem I feel about Nigeria. Yeah, we have low expectations, and we. No. I always no, it's say true. that. You know, and mediocrity. Mediocre, yeah. mediocrity. That's, that's, we embrace that's mediocrity. The problem. I'm not going to say that we have phones unless right. we have phones and people in Somalia where they've been fighting for the past 20 years, they don't have phones. They have phones. I see them. Okay. So, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so okay, Nigeria okay. has produced a lot of like great intellect, you know, and, and like artists, no, uh, no, our I, musicians I the the are making us proud. No, you're right. You're, the first uh, thing I thought about was was Inca. Yeah, Wale Inca. Yeah, Inca. But you know uh, what crossed my mind. Great authors. You know what crossed Sahara my mind. Reporters is something good about Nigeria. What crossed your mind? Well, yeah. I thought I was showing, and then the first thing I thought was there was one interview he granted where he said, Oh, I wish Nigeria is a functional country where I can concentrate in writing rather than this political activism. And that, that was bought for me because we are losing because okay, people. Okay, what about like Chimamanda? She's concentrating on writing. 
And she's making us proud. So, Dr. Damages, you honestly can name. Okay, you know what? You guys put me on the spot. I, like I said, I had to really think about it and everything. But like I said, I, you know, I think Nigerian women are very beautiful. I love their elegance. I love their their swag and everything. I love the way they cook and everything. So that's a beautiful. That's a good I thing don't think about that Nigeria. Has to do with independence. No, no, though. no, no. Women I'm just will talking. Always be beautiful, whether we were ever. No, I'm not talking about not. independence. I mean, I'm just saying, saying he's saying this for things. different other reasons. Not I'm just, just saying <laughs> things I love about Nigeria not, in general. No. <laughs> okay, before we go, man, three mm. things. They're like name three things you love about Nigeria. You know what? Nigeria gets enough bad rap. You know, we put a lot of negative, negativity on Nigeria. I'm, I'm taking a stand today. Today's our Independence Day. Let's say, let everybody say, say um, something good. Good about Nigeria. Let's put that on social media, please. I'd like to hear from you guys. Say something good about Nigeria. Deal, I think you think of three things. You put me on okay, the Okay, so Nigerians can survive under any circumstance or they will always find their way. You know how to adapt. Good. Uh, That's beautiful. You can adapt, adapt yep. to any yep. given <laughs> uh, situation. Nigerians yep. are great business uh, people. Very We're business very business-oriented. Right. Uh, we, can, we can easily turn two to four. We sure can. Not always uh, in the right way, but we, we can it's always right. find a way. We're very business-oriented. Right. And we're very talented. In Very. all all the African artists, if you list like ten African artists, I'm telling you, most of the time Nigerian artists will be at least five of those ten. Thank there you. are some countries where they would mention Nigerian artists before they mention their own artists. So right. Nigerians are really talented when it comes to like art, like singing, dancing, whatever, writing songs. Oh, fantastic. Good. But that has nothing to do with independence. No, I'm not saying it has anything to do with in independence. If I'm we've just been in independent general. for 54 years, yeah. I don't expect us to be where we are in terms of life, quality, and... The quality of life, yes, yeah, still um, below standard, uh, I agree. There's still a lot yes. of poverty. Uh, I'll admit that. Um, so. But, you know, Rudolph we're not where we are, but things. I think there's, there's really um, room for improvement. <laughs> Dr. Damages, no, man, I'm, you're not, you're not I'm, leaving I'm, this. I'm you're trying. not leaving the studio okay, until you can give three things, okay, man. Okay, let me give you one. Give me one. Nigeria is the only country in the world. Yes. I'm quoting a newspaper, Economist magazine. It says the only country in the world where the best is impossible and the worst never happens. That's a good thing. Ah, oh, what does that mean? What the hell does that mean, dog? The best is impossible, <laughs> but the worst never happens. But can't that apply to any country? No, Nigeria is the only one in the whole world where the best <laughs> is impossible. What do you mean That's the worst has? What what can be worse than? Than Boko Haram. Two hundred <laughs> girls being kidnapped. Oh, there could be. And there could be. We 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 get to the age, and you think we're going to fall over. We kind of pull back somehow. We fought wow. the civil war. You thought that that was the end, and then we pull back. So fifteen thousand people have died. I don't know what could be worse than that. Oh, Oh, yeah, a lot, a lot of things could be worse. So that's one. Secondary. Uh, I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know if I was a good mistake. So that's supposed to be a good thing. That's a right. Good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. The second one is that, just like New York is called a concrete jungle. Yeah. Nigeria is a form of jungle that people come out of it and just like what you said, they can survive and strive, man. Yeah. So yeah. So it's a jungle, but you have to remember it's, it's really a jungle. So to what you said, um, one of our listeners, Shea Ogunbaya, actually just said Nigerians equals the most resilient people in the world. Mm -hmm. that's, so that's, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Because we're and we used to be the happiest people, you know, uh, before uh, Boko Haram. Well, that, that, well, that one, I, I, The other I, thing I, is I that know, religion, we, we have the key to heaven. You know what? I, 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 mean, <laughs> I, I think you're being, uh, no, no, I think I, you're being no, facetious right being now. Sarcastic. <laughs> yeah, no, you're being being no. What he's saying, I'm sure right. we we have more churches in Nigeria. I, I was reading about Redeem, and they said that their goal was actually to make sure that One five minutes, five minutes, every five. five minutes yeah, walk. I didn't know that. That's wonderful. It's like Starbucks or, or no, Dunkin' Donuts. But they, they, I read and, that. And but aren't they exaggerating with that? No, though? They, they're about no, to get that. No, they're, their goal. They're, in many cities in the, in Nigeria, they they already there. I don't know about all that. Yeah. Man. So that's no. a good thing. In heaven, I know that no matter what I do here, when I get there, the Nigerians so there will help me. They will help me to get through the door. <laughs> but you don't even believe in God. Yeah. Uh, well, does that have anything to do with getting into heaven? That's where. So long as you're Nigerian. Yeah. Once I show my passport. Huh? One, once I show my passport, they will let me in. Doctor Damages, you know you're not Doctor Damages right now. You're, you're Rudolph, Rudolph, man. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yeah. Let's to be uh, honest, go ahead, Dola. We're gonna move along after this. Go ahead. Fifty-four years. It's right. very sad because we really don't have anything to celebrate after fifty-four years. As a matter of fact, when I was young, we used to celebrate Independence Day. We would go to the stadium. There would be yeah. parade and stuff like that. All of that now has been cancelled. We don't do that anymore. Are you they, sure? They, they don't do that? They don't do that anymore I'm not since sure they Boko still do Haram it, but started. Oh. Now but they celebrate Independence Day inside Asso Rock as if 
I mean, it's the whole country is supposed to be celebrating. The only thing is that everybody gets like the holiday, in Independence Day holiday. Right. That's it. You don't even know that we are celebrating anything. It's very sad. You know, I think one of the things that's really sad is that it seems like despair has replaced hope. It's like, you know, before there used to be hope, at least things would get better. I think right now, you know, last time I was in Nigeria, you could just see the people's faces, man. It was just, it was like despair was just written all over their, their faces. But some like, of them don't know it, though. Like, there are people in Nigeria who right. will argue with you, based, like, based on what we're talking about or what we do, uh, shows. There are people in Nigeria that have never been outside Nigeria and they will argue with you about how this government is the best or something. No, so they, no, they, no. they can't really say that. No, they, it depends they, they on where you that. are. It depends, depends on where you are. Yeah, where it, you are. It, exactly. For those who live in Lekki, you know, things are good. Life is good. Yeah, what do know, they care? You are, you know, I, I think we've been plagued yeah. by bad leaders. And um, this is a good segue into our next um, topic, the 2015 um, elections, which is coming up in February. And uh, to be honest with you, I really don't know um, who the... Candidates, huh? Candid exact candidate. I mean, I know Jonathan is running again. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. um, and, you know, I, I read something that, you know, um, that, you know, I read somewhere that, you know, his reelection might violate like an unwritten rule because, you know, the presidency around with Nigeria is like really supposed to rotate from no, the no, south, that's, that's not northern. True. That's not true. That's not true. Well, I just said I read that. Do you yeah. think this? Yeah, do you that. think that's some? Um, Buhari's also no. trying to run. Yeah, Buhari's again. trying to run under the. Um, and Atiku. On the I think he's running. On yeah. the APC, yeah. Um, so. Atiku. From a vice president, of course. Um, what do you? What is your? Um, let's start with Jola. Jola, what is your take on the 2015 election? Honestly, so I look at all the candidates, right? And I don't see w which one is like. I don't see I I anyone that is better, and that breaks my heart because it's like we're recycling the same set of people. Right. So I don't we're see any. Set of yeah, I, I I really don't see anything changing. No matter right. who wins of all these candidates that I know. I don't see Kano any. State governor wants to run. Why are you not embracing that? Kano State governor wants yeah, to Rabio, run. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah it's Rabio. Same new, what, it's same which new party? APC. APC. How right. many people will APC please? No, they have to well, pick one person. Now. Yeah, well, APC. APC they, they have to do their primaries. APC and, and has about it. Even they have a a, a lady. Um, I don't know if she's a lady, but. I just wish we would have a young person. The name is um, Bukala Saraki. No oh, oh, please don't say that. <laughs> please. It's, it's the I, come on, I know, that's what uh, I don't want to say. say. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Go, go <laughs> you, but, but, I mean, I know you're from Bukala Paris. Bukala Saraki so. wants to, why do so, you have to keep repeating that? I don't so, know who's watching, okay? Y'all don't do that. Okay, I'm sorry. No, no, you know I'm she pretends Ibadon. that she's from Ibadan. Oh, that's, no. that's, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Bukala Saraki wants to, any Saraki wants to run anything, just know that nothing good is coming out of it. Wow, I you're really blunt. But I like I said, people would like to hear from you. The number to call is 646-559-6640. You know, tell us about um, the Nigerian Independence Day. What do you think about the 2015 elections uh, coming up in February? It's just around the corner. And You know, you know her, her brother tried to run the last election right. for presidency. Right. Now it's the sister that is trying this people. <laughs> well, I just want to say, so right now, under the People's Democratic Party, which is the PDP, we have Good Luck Jonathan and Sule Lamido, who's a... No, Lamido is out. Oh, he's out? Yeah. They, they held him. Oh, okay. I can't say it on the air. Oh, <laughs> Don't say, sure yeah, say it on your show, man. Yeah, Don't say it on right, my show, man. All right. They, 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 they made him. Oh, okay. So I stand corrected then. Yeah. Then for uh, All Progressive Congress, which is the APC, we have Atiku, we have um, Buhari, we have Rabiu, we have someone here, um, Sam... And uh, Isaiah. Okay, yeah, former, the former publisher of uh, Leadership News. Right, who's a, yeah, who's a newspaper. Um, mm -hmm. We have Rochas um, Okorocha. Oh, yeah, governor of uh, Imo State. Adams of Shimole. That one said, he, said, he said that he will fix them. Um, He'll fix Nigeria. Hey, they, they, they all say that. <laughs> Don't they all he say can't that? Fix, he can't fix his. Yeah, state, but Adam, <laughs> um, Adam's a Shimoli. That's a that's a good um. That's why? A good why is he good? No, because, I'm just saying it's interesting that he's running. He painted you know? a roundabout in Benin City. Not just like, that, but you know, I don't he, know why you guys don't run. No, uh, not yeah, yet. We, we talk about that. Yeah, yeah. not that, yet. That one is but coming. you know, one thing he did, at least he redeemed himself with calling that, um, telling that widow to go and die. You know, so he redeemed himself because he was forced to. If social well, media did exactly. not force him, nothing would have happened. Damn, I can't do, you can't just give this no, I'm just a break. Why don't, I'm just pointing out how right. things what work. Mean? What about the celebrities that are trying to run? Uh, run for what? President? Oh, the, well, oh. I don't know. Any trying no, to run no, for, let me, for let the me, president? Let me, let his name is trying to run for governorship. Yeah, yeah. Agu, right. Ju Julie, Julius Agu. You yeah. know what Agu means? Agu means like you're crazy. But anyway, <laughs> um, the, let, me talk about, let me talk about the chances actually of uh, Buhari and Jonathan. Right. You know, the, way, the way it's set up now, if nothing happens, nothing changes in the political equation now, 
I think um, whoever the APC people will bring up, Jonathan is likely going to win if we have a credible election. Mm. Um, mm. Um, if, if we if, have a credible election, John yeah, yeah. Win. I mean, really? if you, they count the votes actually, and then, yeah. <laughs> okay. um, if you have the if you have Jonathan um, um, going uh, against um, someone like uh, Atiku, right, that would be a very easy easy win. Uh, I think if Atiku runs for APC, right. APC is finished. Uh, <laughs> wow, um, that is a very if very Buhari, the only candidate, man. the only candidate the APC, the only candidate they have that that can actually challenge right. the president is Buhari but unfortunately right. um, it's, it's going to be tough to for for Buhari to s scale through right. because the, the combination of president and vice president is, is very difficult for I don't see how APC can come up with a candidate because the election actually is going to be won in the southwest hmm. so for for APC to win the election they have to get 50% of the votes, oh no, 60% of the votes in the Southwest right. to stop Jonathan. Now, um, they, they can't get it with Buhari. Hmm. They have to get another, do kind of a magic to get that vote from, from the Southwest. Right. Uh, Jonathan has a chance to get that vote from the Southwest because he plays the politics of religion and 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 <laughs> Southern and, and, and he's been visiting all these yeah. leaders. So right. so so that is working in his favor. Right, but don't you think the whole bring girl bring bring back our girls thing is gonna um, work against him? It's gonna hurt him. Why? No, no. I mean, girls in fact, haven't if, been found. In fact, it might it might favor him because I think one of the reasons why he hasn't come out to declare is that they have this thinking that they could find the girls. So if they find the girls and, and then that just in be time for the time that he could declare right. that. He's but here's one thing though: Jonathan did promise that Nigeria would have constant and steady electricity, and he failed to deliver on that. Oh, nobody remembers those things when it's time to vote. Oh, well, it's about I, what their pastor told them, or what their imam, or okay. whatever. You well, know, I remember. He, he visited T.B. Joshua's church uh, after the incident, right. and the funny thing is that's not the only place where we have like tragic <laughs> accident incidences in Nigeria. But he had to go there. Go there. And TV here has a lot of followers. Right. I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying we've had bomb explosions in various places like in Kano, and he didn't go, but he went to Lagos to see what yeah. happened. I just want to read some of the stuff um, people are saying on social media. Uh, Khalid said, if our country is celebrating independence, should it, should it not be time for us to reflect on how independent we are? Uh, Four Plus, the mayor says that Sahara Desert reporters will be disgraced when Nigeria becomes the envy of the world. I really hope we're disgraced. <laughs> no, uh, that's, that's, that's what I we are fighting for. I just hope we become the no, envy, no, no, envy but that, of the world. I hope so. That's I'm actually, looking forward to that. That's actually what I'm fighting for, yeah. you know. I, I want us to get there. Yeah. But people think that the only way we can get there is to believe that we are going to get there. You know, people who are on the other side saying that we are not doing enough to get there are also contributing to pushing the country towards that direction. Yeah. Right. Uh, I just want to say also that uh, Anyi Madubuko says Nigeria is making a lot of progress in different sectors of the economy. We are getting better as a nation. Uh, let me just read one more. Lawrence Ebenezer says, my opinion is that stop criticizing President Jonathan and stand as good media reporters. No, this is what I tell people mm. that that we. we well, find. how does that help anything, though? Exactly. These guys are not beyond reproach, man. They they're allowed okay, to be of criticized. Course, of exactly. Course. Again, we like. To, yeah, sorry. Let me just tell people six four six five five nine six six four zero extension the three. The phone is like down to there, right? Yeah, I got everything. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, what I wanted to say is sometimes people don't understand that our competitors. Uh, people like South Korea, Brazil, Singapore. Really? Uh, these are people that we started with f 54 years ago mm. at the same level, economic right. level. Uh, but now they've, they are far ahead of us. Yeah. So uh, they have to imagine that it's like a train, you know. South Korea is moving at 100 miles per hour, right. and we are at 15 miles per hour. So for us to actually start gaining grounds, right. you know, close the gap, we have to move at 110 miles something more than what they are moving at but we're at 15 and so when, when the government tells you oh we built this road it's like they moved it jonathan probably moved it from 15 to 17 and you are clapping for him okay. you are not going anywhere what do you so, what do you right. say to people who say that stop comparing nigeria with uh advanced countries we are only 54. no i don't believe no. that okay okay I'm no, sorry no, okay it's, it's go not. ahead dr damages i have india, a question for india, you by the way india just went to the mass see they sent they sent a probe there India, some 54 years ago, we were worse than Nigeria. So, so was Saudi Arabia. So, so Saudi Arabia, they didn't even have cars. They were used to transport by ca camels. Uh, 
Let me take this call real quick. I'm serious. Dubai. We now go to Dubai. Right. You live with the Honorable Prince. What's your name and where you calling from? Hello? Uh, please call back. Thank you. Dr. Damages, sorry, before you, you go. go to Dubai. Yeah, um, somebody has a question for you, and this is a question from our Facebook page. Cheryl Gumbayo, thanks for writing. It says, can Dr. Damages explain why APC needs 60% of the votes from the southwest of Nigeria to win the presidency?